Hey y'all, welcome to The Restaurant Show, and I have a brand new restaurant, both to the Low Country and to the show. Um, it is Lazy Susan's Cafe and Crepery in Habersham, South Carolina, also right outside of Beaufort. Um, and uh, we have one of the owners, Captain Phil Grobel, and one of his Basically, one of the girls in charge in the kitchen cooking for us today, and this is Selena Lawson. Welcome, you guys. Thank you. Thanks for um, having us. We ha I'm so excited about what you have, and I'm excited about your whole concept. So we talked a little bit about um, before the show, but tell me just a little bit of the background and how you set all of this up, and who works for you, and just the meaning behind it. So right it. now, uh, bought a property in Hambersham, great mm -hmm. little neighborhood. Yeah, great It came with a, uh, a live work, so an right. apartment above a small business. Decided, you know, what did Habersham need? Had a pub, it, pizza right? place, a gym, but it didn't have a place for breakfast and lunch. Exactly. So just a little bit of creative thinking and decided, let's do a creperie and some coffee. And now, how, where does your background from crepes, I mean, your background so family, is actually in the Marines, uh, but. Marines, yeah. So background's <laughs> Marines, but uh, my brother and his, my sister-in-law uh, run a creperie in putting Bay, Ohio called the Old Forge okay, yeah, Cafe and Creperie. Absolutely. And uh, that was a little bit of the inspiration behind All something. All those Ohio people out yes. there in Putin Bay. <laughs> uh, something simple with a lot of possibilities. Yeah. And crepes, you, there's, you can do a million different things. And for those of you to, who do not know what a crepe is, um, and we're going to actually, Selena, if we will start getting cooking, um, Selena's actually going to cook up and show us what the crepes. And now, Selena, let me understand, you actually learned from Phil, who then learned from your family yes. how to make these crepes. Yes. Fantastic. Okay. And the second part of your question was who works for me? It is all Marine Corps wives. I know. I love so that. So all the wives love that. are either drill instructor wives or pilot wives. Right. That is that is fantastic. I mean, that is just fantastic. It all What your families already do for us, um, but then for this uh, community of Hampshire, I think that's fantastic. Thank you. All right. So we're putting in, this is the batter? Yes. Okay. This and this is a crepe batter. What is a batter? What is a crepe batter made of? So it's really just the same thing you would have in a pancake. Okay. It's really just a skinny pancake. Oh, okay. And what right. we have now, it's our neutral batter. So it's not sweet, but it's not salty. It can be served with a sweet crepe or something gotcha. more savory. Okay. And right now we're going to use it with a savory crepe. Okay, perfect. And I know that thing's running hot right there, so we might have to. Um, all right, let's. And th these are the ingredients that we're going to be putting into the crepe. Yes. And they have sweet crepes and savory. So there's definitely that little bit of a difference. Yes. Um, like you were just saying, it's not too. This is something that will go either way. Yeah, it can go either way. Great. And now, what are the um, ingredients that we're putting so into So right this? now, we're making what's called the James Bond. It's our number one selling Love it. crepe. So it starts off with some olive oil. Okay. Followed great. by bacon, uh, diced red onion, and mushroom. Perfect. And that's here's Followed the diced onion, some, yep. mushrooms, and the bacon, guys. Oh, I love bacon. <laughs> and then some uh, some spinach. Okay. And then at the end of it, you're going to put some uh, crushed feta. Okay, fantastic. Well. And now all of this is, this is for one crepe? One crepe. Oh my gosh, I love it. There's so many good things in there. And obviously, if you're a vegetarian, this is something really great if you just take out the yeah, bacon. Exactly. Really, right? any of the crepes you can take, mix and match different ingredients, it's very easy. Okay. A lot of possibilities. Fantastic. And um, now tell me, you're when are you open again? You're open. So Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday during the week. Okay. Eight to two. Eight to we'll two. Close Wednesday and then Sundays nine okay. to two. Okay. And that and, and I'm about to ask you pretty soon about your because I heard on the weekend you have this fantastic item. But well, let's let's keep going with the okay. crepes right now. So with the crepes now, you're also known for your coffee service yes. too. Yes. Yes. So we do really good um, high quality espressos, lattes. Uh, and cappuccinos, these, and these beans. locally roasted. It's all served with Lake Crusade serveware as well. I love it. So my mom appreciates the Lake Crusade stuff. Yeah. You know, the women do. It's nice. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You've got good taste. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and so this is actually a French press that you yes, that French you press. do here. And how do you serve that at the restaurant? So what we'll do is first, if someone orders a French press, we'll give them a selection of beans. Okay. So they have an oh, Ethiopian, wow. a Brazilian, or a house. So if you soup. like it really strong, and or not. yeah, okay. it's whole bean coffee. So we'll grind it for them. Bring out the cups. Grind it actually mix the water and the coffee and we bring it out to them just pressed a third of the way gotcha. down so this you gotta is let it settle yeah you have so you to let, let the settle. coffee settle and then give it two minutes and then they plunge it all the way to the bottom and I then they serve it. it and that's and the coffee is, drinkers coffee and this is a service for whether it's two people three people yep, we four offer people. french press for one two or three we even offer a smaller french press for one if you come in oh, by right, yourself exactly absolutely i love it all right so it looks like we are and they also have tea too for the people who are not drinking coffee. Um, there is also the, the option for tea and they have some really great um, loose leaf teas yep, and things like that that you can definitely check out. All right, so we're, um, the crepe is cooking up and then should I put all this stuff in? Yeah, so spinach we'll is put that, in now. We'll get the spinach awesome. nice and wilted up. And that spinach always seems like it's so much, but <laughs> it actually it really will shrink down into that crepe. Um, all right. So while that's cooking up, tell me about your weekend special that so I want to just special, dig in. It's no, right it looks there. pretty good. The biscuits <laughs> and gravy. Uh, a real close friend, Sarah. Grab it. Let's she has check a recipe from her uh, grandma. Okay. That was donated. I'm gonna grab it. Really you want to grab it? Yeah. yeah. I'll do it real quick. I want to grab it and eat it. <laughs> 
put it right there. Oh my gosh. Now whose recipe is this? So a good friend Sarah, it's her grandma's recipe. I can't talk about it. Right. You know, it's, it's secret. <laughs> But it's a big hit like on the Like a weekends. lot of things that you do, Captain. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> and this is one serving? That's one serving. No wonder everyone's like now, everyone goes there on the weekend. You take a nap as soon as you're done. Does it run out? Like, should you get there? Like, I make a really good big batch Fridays. Right. Let it all kind of settle. Yeah, it has sell to like it Saturday in. and Sunday. And usually we're out of it. I'll have to make another one Saturday night. Really? Yeah. So you guys, you got to make sure you get in there. for the. I mean, you can just see that is made with some love. That is now you must have some people that want to split this. I mean I would not want to share. There's a couple. There's yeah. A couple that, yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and build this out. Is it almost getting there? I know. <laughs> the, yeah. See the thing is guys, we use these electric burners and they bought their beautiful crate pans to do this in. And unfortunately we could use it, but we're gonna get the gist of it. <laughs> we, can, we can make that work. Wait. We'll definitely be able to show you though go what, ahead, the, what it ends it up looking like. <laughs> but otherwise, why don't we talk about two? Um, Captain, what uh, your hours of operation and all that good stuff so that people can check you out in Habersham. Okay, so the Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, mm -hmm. uh, 8 to 2. Okay. Wednesday's closed. Okay, and do we need to make reservations? Nope. So first no, come, first serve. First see yourself. Come, first serve. Very see informal, right. very informal, kid friendly. Just come on in, grab a seat wherever you want. And, and, ca and casual, so yes. it's nothing that okay. you have to coffee get. Coffee bar, you make your own coffee, there's a water bar. Everything that, uh, like the French press and lattes, the espresso yeah. we'll make for you, but we have our own Lazy Susan's house blend decaf that you can just kind of help yourself. Perfect, you guys. It's all Lake Crusade coffee mugs too. And we'll make good. sure we show you a picture of what's going on with this crepe, but otherwise, check them out. It's Lazy Susan's Cafe and Crepery um, over there in Habersham, South Carolina, and make sure you support um, our local troops, and we'll be back in just a moment. Thanks again, you guys. All right, thank you. Thank you.